Fakalofaleo to peeps. I'm here at Grayland Library, ready to make some what make some kataoas with uh, Zora and Jack. We are here. This is Grayland. If you don't know where Grayland, it's in Auckland. It used to be full of islanders, but now it's full of cafes and uh, sweet. We got the Fijian mahogany. This wood was imported from Fiji. Fiji and we can sand it down to make the kataoa. Um, yeah, I think it might take a few hours and... Okay. Alright, this is our asafo. Uh, Io is going to explain uh, what the tao and the kataoa is. Okay, so... Some of the differences between the kataoa and the tao. Because a lot of people, some people, Still calls a kataua a, a tau. Now a tau is a tau like this, and at, at most times it will have at least two or three types of uh, wood or materials to make a tau. For example, this one over here has two different um, tree or plant that makes this this tau. Uh, the shaft of this is made out of the ebony or kiato and it's got a different type of wood over here, I'm not too sure what this one is and it's been lashed and a lot of the time um, the thaw is mainly used for uh, hunting purposes like for this one you can use it uh, for spear fishing on the reef so that's a thaw And this is a kataua. So when you have a kataua, it's mainly one main type of wood, like this over here. Okay. It's not like a tau where you have one. Yeah. Uh, this part is different, and this part is different. Yeah. Yeah, and they come in different woods okay. for the kataua. So what's, what's the purpose the, for the kataua? That kataua is like a cleaving weapon. Okay. Uh, club or weapon when uh, during warfare times in Niue. Oh. Uh, but in our days we use it uh, as an ornamental part or prop, a prop uh, for dancing, okay. uh, especially the hapalo. Hapalo and some maki would use katoa for their performances. Yeah. Oh, okay. Far away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is Kirsten. She's the chairman of Tipu Mayanga, and she's going to explain what is Tipu Mayanga and what's the purpose of today. Okay. First of all, not the chairman, <laughs> but I'll take that for today. Um, what are we doing today? Uh, Tipu Mayanga is a what are we? A community-based group that hosts workshops for. People, I, I say people, but we focus on youth and families, and that's to not only reconnect with culture through arts and crafts, but also dance related things. And then today, we're going to be making some kasawa, kasawa uh, with the boys. The cultural significance of it is it's the object that quintessentially new air. So when you see a kasawa, it's something you're like, if you see a Fijian totoki, I'm not sure if you know what that is, but you're like, oh yeah, that's Pacific, that's Fijian. When you see a Taiha, Maori. When you see a kasawa, oh that's, that's new air people. So all the boys are going to make one as a part of I would say a dance prop to go along with the kakao. Cool, that's what we're doing today. Cool, all right, thanks, Kirsten. Send people to send it down. Tile wires. Violet. Here we're filing it down. 
Falling it down, eh? Yeah. Eight off. Yeah. That's the first stage. Yeah. Shake it out. Yeah. Shake it out. Ah, lunchtime. Thanks to Pumayanga for the lunch. Ah. These tricks is on the sanding right now. So you the old camera button. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your phone? Hey? What's wrong with your phone? Oh, I don't know. This camera is good quality. <laughs> Yeah. So, some of the work that looks like drapes. This one looks like Clint's. That one is uh, Charles. That's my one. And this one. The show. It's the boys. The boys. No time. All right, guys. Uh, I'm home now. The uh, day got cut short, I think, because of COVID. But um, here's the end product of the kata'oa. Uh, just need to sand it down some more. Um, and then we were meant to wax it or varnish it to get that, that nice finish. But this is the end product. Took about four hours to complete. Uh, saw forearms. And yeah, this is it. As you can see, still need some sanding, sanding down. Yeah, so, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, we'll see you next time.